Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. The last chapter of class 6 is based on the topic of symmetry. Uh, you know symmetry is, uh, it can be a tricky topic if you understand mirror images, the vertical lines, the uh, horizontal lines of symmetry and uh, the rotational symmetry, you know there are so many concepts in symmetry. So uh, this topic, uh, you know, is important for the competitive exams also. And, uh, you know, the topic of symmetry is, uh, you know, you start it from class 6, but you have it in class 7th also. And in subsequent classes, uh, you know, you find applications of these concepts of symmetry. So, watch the entire video and download the practice PDF. That's very important, you know, practice problems of symmetry. Uh, you need to practice them uh, using the practice worksheet, which I have already made for you. The link of that amazing worksheet is shared here in the description box below you can just click it and download it after you have watched the entire video and understood the concept let me also tell you about the best offers which are going on right now for the ebook of short tricks uh, you know uh, during your summer vacation or whatever time you find you know you can upskill yourself and calculate 10 times faster using these short tricks which are mentioned in the ebook 350 short tricks neatly typed in 338 pages comes with video support and the reasoning course also you know you need to develop those reasoning abilities right from the school level so that when you grow up and uh, enter into those competitive exams you know in which lakhs of students are participating you have those skills which are required to crack the exam the cbsc practice worksheet if you are a student of class 6 or above you can send me a message on whatsapp i'll tell you how to get a a copy of the entire set of practice worksheets which we have already made for you. You can pay a visit to www.sureshagarwal.in uh, to have a glimpse of the work we have done uh, to uh, give you all these uh, practice material. Uh, the link is in the description to download the practice uh, question worksheet based on this concept. Click that. Let's see the first question. Uh, the mirror images. You know, we have some figures uh, drawn here. And we have drawn some lines like L1 and L2. The two lines are drawn in each of the figure. Now you need to identify whether that line L1 or L2 can act as a mirror line. That means on either side of that line, the figures should be exactly the same, the mirror image of one another. Like if you keep your hands like this, they will be mirror images of one another, right? So we can draw a line L1 like this, separating out the two hands. So they will be symmetrical and they will be mirror images of one another. So if you see the first figure, the line L1, which is a vertical line on the right side and on the left side, you have the exact nature of the figure. So if I draw a rough figure like this, you can see on the right side of this line L1 and on the left side of this line L1, you have exactly the same figure and that is why L1 is a line which can be uh, called a mirror line but in the same figure if you see l2 right this line this is this is l2 and this is l1 okay so l1 is a line of symmetry but l2 on the uh, upper part of this l2 and on the lower part you have non symmetrical figures on the upper part you uh, you see only the uh, smaller half of the figure and on the lower half, you see the larger half of the figure. And therefore, L2 is not a mirror line. So L1 is a mirror line, but L2 is not a mirror line because it is, um, you know, on either side, you find unsymmetrical distribution of that figure. Now watch this uh, alphabet H here. You know, if you see the alphabet H, the vertical line here, L2, and the horizontal line, L1, on top of L1, you have half of the figure H and below L1 also you have the other half. And you can see the two halves are exactly the same, this half and this half. They are exactly the same and therefore L1 is a mirror line. And similarly, if you see the vertical line L2, so on the left side of L2 and on the right side of L2, the two uh, parts of the alphabet H, they are exactly the same. And therefore, L2 is also a mirror line in this case. So, in the first figure, only L1 is the mirror line. But in the second figure, both L1 and L2 are mirror lines. That's one concept of symmetry. 
let's see this question so you have some random shape drawn there this is the shape of a, a boy and we have to check whether the given figure are symmetric or not uh, do you find any symmetry in this yes our body is symmetrical right so if you draw a line right uh, through a vertical line like this you know half of our face will be distributed around that line then the neck and then the stomach area and then the two hands and then the two legs so we do have a symmetric shape right so symmetry is in the body also so yes it is symmetric draw the line of symmetry you can only draw it if you take exactly the center of the head center of the neck and through the center here you draw a vertical line like this now this is the only way you can draw a line of symmetry in case of the human body in other if you draw any other line it will not be symmetrical around the line so on the left side and on the right side of the line the figure is totally symmetrical so there is only one line of symmetry this is known as the line of symmetry in case of this figure so you can be given any such random shape and uh, you have to identify whether it is symmetric or not if it is symmetric then you have to draw the lines of symmetry also very important concept now let's see the final concept for this you know the capital alphabets uh, you can have so many lines of symmetry uh, in alphabets now suppose you have uh, the alphabet capital a you draw it like this see if you only draw a vertical line of symmetry the figure is symmetrical around it like on the left side and on the right side the uh, figure will be distributed equally right so this has only the vertical line of symmetry but if you see the alphabet b if you draw the vertical line it is not going to be symmetrical on one side the figure will be different and the, on the other side it will be different but if you draw a horizontal line like this now the figure is symmetrical on the top and below portion and therefore alphabet b has a horizontal line of symmetry but in the question here he asked us to list all capital alphabets which have both vertical and horizontal line of symmetry so i already told you one in the previous slide h if you draw a line like this it is distributed evenly right like this and if you draw a line like this then it is distributed evenly on the left and the right so alphabet h is one answer of this question it has both vertical and horizontal lines of symmetry likewise if you see the alphabet i try to draw the vertical line of symmetry like this it is symmetrical and the horizontal line of symmetry like this yes it is symmetrical and then obviously the alphabet o it is symmetrical the vertical symmetry and the horizontal symmetry and finally there is only one more alphabet which uh, you know satisfies this condition and that alphabet is the capital x so if you see capital x and draw a vertical line of symmetry like this it is going to be symmetrical over the left and over the right portion and if you draw the horizontal line of symmetry then on the top and at the bottom of this line it is going to be symmetrical again so h i o x these are the only four uh, alphabets which you know are symmetrical uh, both with respect to the vertical line of symmetry and the horizontal line of symmetry so friends i hope you have understood what is symmetry and how you what type of questions you can get for a wide variety of questions you have to download the practice material so do it click the link below and i'm sure you are going to uh, you know be aware of all the concepts which are included in this important topic do share this video friends do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications thanks for watching this and all the best